So Uruguay has the toughest laws around tobacco use um, worldwide at present. Um, um, but despite these laws, um, or I should say, um, since these laws went into place, the tobacco use rates among adults have plummeted. Um, so they're half of what they used to be, from like 40 some percent down to 20 uh, or so percent. Um, but over that same time period, the use rates among um, young people have stayed constant over time. So there's not been uh, a lot of movement. So a fabulous, um, lovely country down there, a teeny tiny um, country, one of the smallest in, in South America, um, located in the southern cone, um, very European um, uh, in uh, influence. It's a middle income country as defined by the World Bank, so they're not um, as poor uh, as someplace like India where we worked before, but not as well off as we are here in the U.S. Um, and so people live a very modest life down there. Project Activité, we're combining not just um, tobacco use prevention, a number of different strategies we might use to reduce tobacco use, um, but putting that together with physical activity promotion. That if we can promote physical activity, um, we can ultimately prevent tobacco use uh, among kids. So this idea that if you're taking care of your body by being physically active, then you don't want to harm your body, of course, with um, tobacco use. And, uh, other biological mechanisms. So um, uh, nicotine um, uh, is, um, uh, regulates mood. Um, so smoking cigarettes related to the dopamine pathways in the brain. Um, they also have strong links to physical activity as well, too. Um, so they may be two different pathways by which we can regulate mood and by replacing this negative pathway with a positive one, um, then we might head that off at the pass.